Hi there. Max, hi, it's so nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too, how are you? Very good, very good. Coping very well with the lockdown and the fact that it's raining today. Yeah, it's been raining all day here too. <laughs> Britain. Oh my God, yeah. But we have had amazing weather in England and that's one oh, really? thing about lockdown is that the weather has been spectacular. I think, are you in Shropshire? I am, yeah, and I've been sunbathing every day. <laughs> Do you know, I've seen pictures of you in your garden. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed, I noticed, mm. getting your tan on. Getting yep. ready for LA, right? Getting prepared, yeah. Good for you. Good for you, yeah, because I was having a chat with your mum. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, she was, she was telling me what you've been up to. Mm. And she's been That's telling right. me about the movie script that she wrote. Um, yeah. I think it's called Lucky, isn't it? Lucky the movie, yeah. We've all been very busy recently. My mum with her writing and directing and me and my sister with acting. Um, Lucky, mm -hmm. we, it's in post-production right now. Um, there's one or two more things we have to finish, but we are all very excited to share it because it was an incredible experience. We loved every minute of filming and we can't wait to see it. Oh, well, we can't wait to see it either. And I'm very excited for you. How fantastic to have such a supportive mother who yeah. will... <laughs> as far as to write a fantastic script so that you guys can get get some you know some um screen time and, and yeah. get some roles it's really it's really really great it's it's mm. that's called amazing support well done mum hi mum your mum's name's samantha isn't it yes it is um samantha marching me is she watching good <laughs> hi samantha i hope you're tuning in we love you <laughs> love you mum <laughs> 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 all right well let's um let's jump in here tell me about why it was you wanted to become an actor and when it all started for you okay so i started my dream to become an actor really when i was about 14 i think i had started my school's um use well not a musical sorry we did a play of midsummer night's dream and i played lysander before that i hadn't really done any acting before i'd never really gotten into it but when i did that i absolutely loved it my mum was telling me she thought I'd be awful, but I was incredible, thankfully. <laughs> According to her. <laughs> so and, she gave um, you lots of encouragement early on. Yeah. But um, well I ended up loving it. And from that, I decided, I talked to my mum about it. And she was like, um, so you enjoyed acting, right? And I was like, it was amazing. And we decided that I wanted to go into a career into it. And when did your career start in acting? When would you say that actually began? I would say when I was 15, so a year after I finished my, um, my place where I got introduced to acting, I started, well, the Instagram, for starters, and that's been a key point into it, as I'll get into later. However, um, through the Instagram, I got introduced to directors, to all sorts of new people who have allowed me to have the experiences to help me build myself as an actor. Um, I've been in a few um, f feature films already, and a few um, indie films that have really helped get me into the industry and help me learn the ways of it. Yeah, and I know that you've got your sights set on Los Angeles. I do, yes. Well, there's some more sun there for you, Max. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is amazing weather. Oh, I went there um, last summer, I think, and it was beautiful. Yeah, I know, your mum told me. My God, your mum's told me so much. I'm not <laughs> sure we need to have this interview at this point. It was really great talking. <laughs> had a good old chin wag it was excellent <laughs> no but we're here because we have so many people tuning in i'm very happy to welcome max on the show today thank you everybody for watching thank you for having me. thanks for yeah thanks for being with us max and um yeah. we're talking to max about his career he's obviously starting out in the uk he's wanting to go over to los angeles his mum has um created a great script and a great platform for him and his sister to show their talents. Olivia will be on, his sister will be on the show next week. Um, let's talk a little bit then um, now, Max, about, about your fan base. You're obviously just mentioned yeah. you're building a fan base on Instagram um, uh -huh. and it's quite substantial. You're, you, you obviously want to use that platform. What do you want to use it for specifically? Well, um, when I started my Instagram, I was originally um, going to go into, it, the Instagram was mainly for modeling. However, um, I, I've done a few shoots for modeling, but then I realized that it was, it, I enjoy them all, but acting was what I loved at heart. So through my Instagram, I got in 
introduced to, like I said before, directors, other actors who could give me advice. And it's really just my Instagram and my social page, which has helped me build this, um, this new life of mine, I suppose, over the past year. Yeah, that's brilliant. How old are you now? I'm 16. 16 now. Okay. And you consider your career started when you were 15? Yeah. Good. All right. And then tell me a little bit about advice for kids. Kids who are coming onto your page, they're going to see you, okay. see some of your modeling pictures. They'll see you've got this movie, this lucky movie coming out. Give them a little bit of advice of what they could do if they wanted to create the platform that you've created and have the start that you've had in yeah. acting. Um, so when I first went into acting, I wasn't, a, I didn't have a clue how to enter. Um, but through my page, it helped me learn that if you want to go into acting, whilst you can have an agent, uh, agents are key for getting auditions and everything. When you start off, if you want to do an Instagram, that's great because through an Instagram is how I how I got my first ever film, I suppose. And more than that, if if you're not getting work, don't worry about it. Uh, make the work, like I've done with my Lucky movie. And we had a great time, great experience. Yeah, see, that's really, really fantastic advice. For all of you watching, and we have lots of people joining us. Max, you've obviously got a big fan base. You have lots of people saying hi and who love you on here. But Max has brought up a really good point, And this is a very good point for people who are thinking about a career in Los Angeles as well. LA is so oversaturated, but don't let that put you off because mm -hmm. a very important thing for people to do is to continue to create their own work. And that's really, really important. Whether that's a photo shoot, whether that's an Instagram following, whether that's a YouTube page, or whether that's a short film, or indeed, as your mum has created, a feature film. Yeah. Um, it's really, really important that you know that you're an artist, you're a creator, you don't necessarily have to have a manager or an agent to do any of that work for you. And consider if you do have a manager or an agent, that's a plus point. Yes. And, uh, but don't feel as though that they do all the work and that you have to sit back because you're the artist and you're gonna create your career. Yeah, um, and more on that about advice, I suppose. Just stick at it and don't give up. I mean, as an actor, not everything is going to be a walk through the door. It's not a straight line. It's going to be zigzags here, there, everywhere. But if you just stick at it, eventually, if you work hard enough, you'll make it there. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about people and friends, peer pressure. What did your friends at school when you were 15 think about the fact that you started an Instagram page and that you were modeling? That must have been like, Max, what are you doing <laughs> all this? It was um, certainly um, an experience, per se. Um, oh, low, ba low battery. <laughs> oh. Um, it was certainly an experience, as it was, well, it was a bit out of the blue, and because um, I've never previously expressed any interest in acting before it, I suppose. But a lot of the, the feedback was negative, but that was something that I was, whilst it was unfortunate, I, I, my mum had prepared me for it, and I'd had, I'd had to see it coming. So now that I saw that and I just had to accept it, move on and hold my head higher, I suppose. Yeah, and how did you cope with that? And by the way, there's some really nice comments on here. Someone's just saying you look really good with your haircut. Oh, uh, thank I must, you. I, must, yeah. I agree with you. Great. Yeah, I'm growing it a bit longer through, through lockdown. No, I like that long hair. It looks really good. Um, yeah. What was my question? We were talking about... Negativity, I believe. Negativity. So how do you cope with that negativity? Um, well, every time I might see a negative comment on my page or one somebody tells me in real life, I'll just, okay, so yes, there's negativity, but there's also the positive comments that people overlook. There might be one comment um, offending me or make, that might upset me, but then there might be 10 that are saying how great I am or how they support me or how they think what I'm doing is great. So I guess you just have to remember to outweigh the negatives with the positive. There you go. There you go, kids. Great advice. For anybody that's on here that's watching, that's going to watch after I post this live um, interview, ignore that negativity because the positive often outweighs the negative. And um, ignore it and keep going. Just keep your distance from those people. Yeah. yeah smart, very smart advice. In terms of um, your career and your goals, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, 10 years, the hope is to be working successfully as an actor, uh, making my own income and making sure that I can pay for myself and my family to have a great life.
Now, is that in Hollywood or is that still in England or do you want to go back and forth? What's the idea? I can confess, I do wish to live in Malibu one day. I went there once and it is so beautiful. <laughs> but um, yeah, Hollywood and LA is the goal to be acting, um, acting there. However, I would like to work on some things in the UK too, in London. Absolutely. There's some great projects coming out in uh, London at the yeah. moment. I have a London agent myself. Yeah and an international agent actually out in Madrid. Oh, okay. and that's, oh. been, that's been a really good um, yeah. for me to also have representation in here and in Madrid. Um, and um, obviously keeping my, um, my representation in Los Angeles as well and going back and forth. So that's the plan really. <laughs> so, of course, with, um, with self tapes now, you can do so much through the internet and- yeah. You know, we, we know now with this lockdown that a lot of these uh, Zoom meetings are happening. You can record them, you can post them. And um, a lot of auditions are happening over self-tapes and meetings for movies over Zoom. Yeah. So, there you go. The, it, it is an international... And, um, another thing I forgot to mention about 10 years, that I want to be curating my own content like we've done with Lucky. Um, on the set of Lucky and really when you almost, when, when it's a do-it-yourself, it's so much more of an experience because as an actor, whilst I was, whilst I was, I suppose, there to be an actor, it gave me a chance to contribute towards script work, towards um, professional ideas or anything for, we can do to really make the movie better. And it was that that helped me broaden, broaden my knowledge on the subject of not just acting, but the acting industry as a whole, di with directing, helping out with um, behind the scenes work. It was a really good experience. That's brilliant. And that's going to help you in your career to have that kind of viewpoint and that much of a well rounded yeah. idea of what it takes to be an actor. Um, because it often takes being a producer too and, and really understanding both sides of the camera. Yeah. That's excellent. Okay, let's talk a little bit about charity work because um, you're obviously on the show because you are setting a great example for others. You've built your own acting career in the last year. You have these big goals. You have big aspirations. You have a big social media following. And you are a next generation role model. We're so happy to have you. I am wonderful. <laughs> and we want to know how you want to use your platform to help others. And what okay. you want to support. So um, let's start starting on my platform. A lot of the time, um, every time I get comments or um, DMs on my Instagram or on my posts, I make sure I try my best to reply to all of them. And a lot of the time, people might be asking for advice on, let's say, acting or how did you how did you start off your page? And I always um, I always enjoy replying to those and trying to give people the advice I can so they can follow their dreams, just follow their dreams as I did. And um, on charity work, I must confess, I'm I've always been an animal lover. And since I was since I was young, whenever there's been I can donate to a tiger or sponsor animals, I'd love to do that with my mum and my sister. However, with the world in the state it is right now, um, the main charity and donations are going towards the NHS, which has been a hero for the UK right now. So, in um, reference to that, there's been a 5K run going around where you run five and donate five, and I've been planning a route to do that. Oh, fantastic. Great news. Great news. Going back to your love for animals, I do understand that you have a chihuahua called Lola. I do. And, and Lola also has quite the substantial social media following. She does. What I thought we could do today, uh, Max, is we could introduce our dogs. Do you happen to have your dog there? She's actually right here. Here she is. <laughs> say hello, Let Lola. me see her. This is Lola. Oh. Look, wait, let me go and get Bentley. One second. Okay. <laughs> Say hello, Lola. Hello to everyone tuning in. I'm so glad you could all make it, and I hope that you're enjoying it. <laughs> oh. Here's Bentley. Bentley, meet Lola. <laughs> Lola. You guys be friends. Lola. Oh. What species? What species? What um? Is what breed is he? He's a Pomeranian. Oh, I love Pomeranians. <laughs> He's my own little teddy bear. He just got a nice bath this morning. Oh, so I had a friend with a Pomeranian once, and it was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Sorry, Lola. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're really cute. They're great dogs, and Lola's really sweet too. So I hope they get to meet in person one day. I hope too. Hello, Lola. Hi, Lola. <laughs> <laughs> we, 
<laughs> Max, <laughs> I'm just looking at a question that's come up on the screen. I'm going to ignore that. You obviously have such a big following. I'm so happy that you're on the show today. And so many people have joined and obviously wanted to chat to you and had some, some good questions for you. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm just looking at all the comments here. It's wild. Yeah, there is quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. So hi to everyone that's joined us. Thank you so hi, much. Max, is there, is there anything else that you want to say? And is there any way that anyone can follow you also on other social media pages? Or do you have a website? Yes. Well, um, if you search up Maximilian Marcham on um, the internet, then I will pop up and it should be the first one there. And also, if you want to follow my Twitter, then it's the same as my Instagram, Maximilian underscore Marchum, and be sure to check that out. And if there's anyone else in here who might want advice, then stick at it, don't give up, and just believe in yourself. Absolutely, and the point of Next Generation Role Model is to create a community of visionaries who are creating the future for the next generation, who are living their dreams, really following their intuition, yeah. their goals, and so please do connect here onto Next Generation Role Model. And um, thank you for joining us today and saying thank hi Thank you, to everybody. You. It's been an honor to meet you. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you too. And we'll meet in person when the world's back, back to normal. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Have a nice <laughs> afternoon. Right. Have a lovely afternoon. All right. Good night. Good night. Good Bye. afternoon. Bye-bye. See you guys soon.